Well, thank you for all spending your Saturday with us. On behalf of the entire faculty and staff at the Salk Institute, it is my pleasure and privilege to welcome you to the third annual Breathing and Sleeping Symposium. So welcome, yes. <laughs> I'm Cheryl Dean. I head up the charitable estate planning uh, for Salk, and it is my pleasure to work here and to meet with all of you um, and to host this program. We're, I guess, the uh, founding sponsor, but uh, another partner who's really stepped up is ResMed, and this symposium wouldn't happen without them. So thank you to our sponsor, ResMed. I'd also like to extend a special thanks to all of our speakers, particularly uh, Joshua Bennett. He's a doctor of pulmonary disease and internal medicine at University of Washington Medical Center, coming down from Seattle. We have with us also Dr. Anthony De Maria. excuse me if I messed your name up, founding director of the new Sulpizio Cardiovascular Center just across the street at UCSD. And finally, Dr. Fang Han, uh, who comes, and he came straight from China, I understand, just to be with us today. He's with the Department of Medicine at Peking University People's Hospital. So a special welcome to all of our speakers. And I personally was not asked to do this, but I could not be here and not thank the brain child of, uh, of all of this, Gladys Swensrud. I met Gladys three years ago. I called her up because I was just starting here at Salk Institute. I'm not a doctor. I don't have an MD. I don't have a PhD. I have a JD, which does absolutely nothing in the medical <laughs> realm. And I was trying to get a handle as to the SALK, what it meant, um, the history, how we got to be here, and what we're doing now. And you can't even start thinking about that without the legacy of Dr. Jonas SALK and the polio vaccine. And then I wanted to know, well, what happened to those people who lived? I mean, who are these polio survivors? I haven't met any in my life um, that I was aware of. And so uh, Gladys and I met. She brought in some other folks in the community. And from that, not only do we have this annual symposium, but the Salk Institute decided that we would help put together what is now the uh, supporting website, poliotoday.org, uh, which I hope is of service to those folks in the community who are looking for some answers uh, and some camaraderie as far as uh, being polio survivors and what that means in the 21st century. Mm 